hi guys hope you are doing good uh, welcome back to another video uh, in this video i'm going to tell you about the app i have e-commerce app i have created in mind stack i have developed in mind stack so i divide this video into few parts uh, in the first section i will i'm going to sh uh, show you the basic gui of the app and then i'm going to tell you how you can run it on your local computer what are what are the requirements uh, and at last i'm going to tell you uh, how you can able to modify the project and i will uh, give you some overview of the uh, code okay so for the first section let's start with the overview of gui so here is the gui of the app uh, we have uh, home uh, we have navbar here home category uh, contact page this is the login button there is a card button and this is the number okay uh, then we have this banner uh, enjoy your shopping with the best quality the search bar search bar is working fine i'm going to tell you this later uh, le so we have this these categories uh, cart here uh, looking fine and then we have a product card containing a image of project name uh, and price then uh, rating uh, and reviews and on hover it will show us a view button a view detail button uh, we can go it we can check it then here okay now if we click on view detail button uh, we'll go to this page here we have detail soap and the image price the name and uh, stock is 500 we can post a review about this product uh, when once we log in uh, but suppose we uh, i'm going to add this to the card we have item added to card and we have one item in the card and there is some related project uh, product detail soap Do dove soap and live boy soap and this is the product review you can give a review here okay uh, uh, and so now we can go to a login page here we have a login page uh, let me refresh it yeah there is a login page you can register by using name email password and you can choose your avatar from here anything you want this will be display here then you can create your account and then you can go there login and i have my account i'm going to log in so you, here you can see the name admin and also the image uh, the avatar i have um, so let's go to profile section first here i have the avatar i can edit uh, my profile from here i can change my password from here and uh, i can go to card menu there's a card so edit this i can add or decrease price uh, the unit here the price is uh, changing according to my number suppose i have added six so here is price so if i want to check out there is some detail and then after that we have confirm order section here you can confirm your order here's the payment section so you can add a valid card uh, because it is connected with stripe and this the card i added is the uh, card provided by stripe to me so i can uh, write uh, 11 month and 23rd cvc any i can click basically uh, this is the test this is uh, this is a fake card for the test only so your order is placed successfully go to orders uh, we have these orders these two are delivered these two are in processing so we can go to dashboard here here the, uh, we have earned total amount of this we have nine products on our website we have six orders we have four uh, users uh, and zero out of product uh, item so we have we can see all the products from here we can create new product from here you can uh, add a name price description category and anything there is uh, there are the categories and uh, if you want to create any category with the image you can create that from here 
these are the orders uh, let this order shift deliver delivered and this if i want to change the status of the order i am going to deliver this state update delivered when i go to this so we have this status change here delivered uh, so the, these are the users of our uh, website you can check the review of any product from here um, if you want to change something like this is minus 10 I have to change this from minus 10 to 20 stock upgrade now we have 20 here okay um, more thing what I have to show in this UI yeah, search uh, let's search uh, oil we have uh, ban this banner here in the search uh, page we have we have search oil we have this dialed oil here uh, let's click on category of key there's no key we and click on oil there is an oil biscuit no biscuit okay also we can filter this uh, by using rating suppose i need a rating of a product five or more than five uh, suppose i need four or more than four three and more than three two and more than three one or more than one uh, these are the product of uh, this this is a filter by rating and this is a filter by categories uh, i have uh, we also have a filter of price suppose the price is 1600 and uh, we can go to 2454 and now price uh, the product is gone because uh, we have filter of price uh, between 2454 to 10000 and we place this back we have the product again display so this is the GUI basic GUI of the website uh, and now in the next part I'm going to tell you about the requirements and how you can able to run this on your personal computer so you can now download the project from the description uh, I have given the link in the description uh, when you download it you get this folder right click on it open with code uh, you can open this folder in code studio uh, now uh, go to terminal here and uh, here you can write npm i iphone iphone force also you can click here and you can write cd front end to go to front end folder and here you can again write npm uh, npm i hyphen hyphen for oh, oh. oh there's there's the mistake mistake yes npm i hyphen hyphen force so now we have our backend and front end node module folder is ready this is backend folder and there is a front end folder now we can start before starting uh, i'm going to tell you one more thing i'm using cloudinary uh, to store the uh, images of the product uh, here in this folder products folder you can see the images of the product is here and uh, you can get uh, you can s easily sign up in uh, cloudinary then you can get your cloud name from here api key and secret pk you can copy these keys from there and you can you have to paste you have to paste these things from there to here cloud name, name api key api secret and then you have to go to uh, stripe stripe you can go to developer mode in developer mode you have this api key you can copy this api key from here a secret key from here then you can again go to in uh, config.env file you have to paste these things from here and uh, mail trap i am using mail trap for forget password uh, section if you are want if you do want to use forget password section you have to go to a a email api key and you have to copy all the details from there to here okay uh, here so email and password here then you are able to use your own cloudinary cloud your own uh, stripe your own uh, email and password in this same project
now I'm going to start this so write npm start backend npm start frontend now our backend is running on 4000 port 4000 in development mode and we have frontend here so in this way you can easily run your project and here is the project uh, now it's time for code section I'm going to tell you I'm going to give you some overview of code here and so basically uh, there is two folders backend and frontend uh, let's go to frontend folder first we have this src in src we have this index.js here we are uh, wrapping our app in provider we are using redux in this project and uh, alert provider for alert box so we have this uh, app.js we have all the routes here in app.js folder uh, let me turn off this yeah we have these productive routes here also for admin uh, panel only productive routes are for admin panel only and the simple routes are for the whole website remain there is a reducer card reducer we have category reducer we have order reducer and all things we are using uh, combined reducer here uh, combined reducer here to combine all the reducer in redux uh, we have this initial straight card item here uh, we uh, here the action for reducers so here we are dispatching add to card with the data and then all data go to reducer and that will store uh, in the store so these are remove item card save shipping info uh, action and these are uh, category actions order action and all thing uh, basically you are see this this these are the uh, let me save this and these are the basically constraint uh, here here's the constraint variable these are the constraints uh, these there is the component the home component the main page the home page of the website and then we have contact page of the website here and we have admin uh, components here list new category order process and all thing we have card card step out card order payment successful and all the components here we have layout banner footer header all the components are here uh, let's go to here and you can type anything at header component save and that will change uh, let me refresh yeah that Hamza okay you can ch any change anything from here these are the layouts of header footer and all thing uh, order list and order detail here product card this is product detail page uh, and this is related product section like this um we have uh, related products in this section i think yeah these this is the related product section uh, i'm talking about this is the related product section uh, sorry this is the related product section uh container uh, sorry a component this is review list and there is a route protected route i told you before these are the users uh component forget user login user new user and all that this let's uh, come to backend here we have model of categories and the uh, schema of categories and then i model order schema product schema user schema i am using mongodb for this project uh, as we know so we have to create schema uh, here are the controllers all are the controllers here are the api roads api roads uh, when we go to this API this uh, function uh, this controller will run and we have this controller new category we have controller in this section here new category so this controller will pass uh, the all thing requirements like it will push the image then uh, we have to wait to upload it to the cloudinary I uh, folder is uh, category folder then the uh, this will copy the link and push that link into image links a uh, variable after that we will pass this image link and all the things into 
just uh, request body dot image and then request body pass to this uh, create dot category uh, category dot create then this will create our document in uh, uh, mongodb database so in this way we are creating uh, a database in api working this way and other get category is working same like uh, when we click on get category we will get all the we will get all the category by using categories dot find and then we'll pass this category response dot status 2000 json in json format success true and then category all the categories we are we have in our database okay this is the back end so you can modify your project according to your requirements uh, here are the products i'm going to upload this in the uh, link in the, i will give you link in the description you can check it out if you want more videos in react or in mern stack or you want more project like that you want more components uh, of react dynamic components uh, i will upload in my channel uh, keep supporting me don't forget to subscribe keep supporting me you can support me via easy pesa bank account jazz cash anything you have you can uh, you if you want to support me you can support me there thank you see you in the next video